to my channel. Today I'm sharing with you guys Oakley's two month update. It's already here, another month is gone. <laughs> I'll probably say this his entire 12 months and through all these updates, but I can't believe how fast it's flown because this time is just so precious and it really does just go by in the blink of an eye. But I'm excited to share with you guys some updates for him and how good of a baby he's been. He's awake right now. It's actually a little bit later at night right now that I'm filming this and this is kind of like his awake time, I guess I could say. It's just that time of day where he's going to go into like his deep sleep soon, but he's not quite there yet, but he's kind of in and out of sleep, just hanging out with us, looking around. Do you wanna see how you everyone first because you're awake? Who knows, you may fall asleep during this. We wouldn't wanna miss getting you on camera. There's a sweet oaky bear. Mwah. Mama loves you. Let's say hi to all of our friends. Say hi, friends. Hi, my name's Oki Bear. I love you. That's our nickname for him, Oki Bear. I call him like Oaks and Oki Bear and obviously Oakley or Oki. Those are all of our nicknames for him. And your sissy calls you the same stuff, doesn't she? Okay, so he may be awake for this whole thing. I don't know, we'll see. We'll see what happens. He's like kind of standing up right now on my legs. You guys can't really see. But he has his legs stretched out, standing up on me. But we're gonna jump right in. So, he now weighs 11 pounds, 10 ounces. We just had his two month checkup also. So, we just got this weight from the doctor. He is 23 inches long. So, for his weight, he is in the 35th percentile, which is pretty good. I, he's on the smaller side, but again, the same way Elodie was, and I think that's kind of just how our babies are. And then for his height, he's in the 50th percentile, so right on track. And then for his head circumference, I don't remember exactly how big his head was that they said, but I do remember that they said his head was 18th percentile. So he has a little bit of a smaller head, but it's super cute. Yeah, it is. So I've noticed, honestly, most of the month, most of the second month, but definitely the past couple weeks also, he's really between newborn size clothing and between like zero to three months. Um, it really depends on the brand of clothing as to how it fits him. For example, like Carter's clothing, he's in zero to three months. But then in some Target clothing, he's in newborn still a little bit. So when he does fit into his newborn, he definitely stretches it out and he's like about to outgrow it, but he's still, he's just like in between. It seems like all of his zero to three month stuff is still like really baggy on him. This is a Carter's um, zero to three onesie or like sleeper on him right now. And as you can see, it's a little tight because I'm pulling it up holding him, but it fits him pretty well. As far as his sleeping goes, like I already mentioned, it is, let's see, nine o'clock at night right now, so it's definitely later in the night when I've gotten around to filming, but this is definitely like his in-between awake time. Normally he falls like into his deep sleep for the night between like nine and 10 p.m. Then um, he normally sleeps up until around midnight-ish, is, which is when Ben and I go to bed. He sometimes feeds, sometimes doesn't, depending on the night. And then more often than not, he has been doing stretches until seven-ish in the morning. So um, it, it does depend on each night. The most he'll wake up is like at the midnight feed and then at like three to 4 a.m. and then again at seven-ish. I should also say that he does fall back asleep after that seven-ish wake up for like another hour and a half, two hours. So really he's not up for the day until probably like between nine and 10. Um, so he's definitely getting like a full 12 hours of sleep time. That is really his like deep, good nighttime sleep. But um, overall he sleeps amazing. Like I'm getting, you know, six hour stretches and he's doing so well and he's still gaining weight and he eats super well. Um, he's still exclusively breastfed. I haven't been pumping at all. That's just a personal choice that Ben and I have made. I'm super grateful that I'm able to stay home with him and basically be on demand for him. Um, but he is such a good nurser and he eats so well and my supply is great and I'm not saying this to like discount anyone of course because I just hear how hard breastfeeding is for some moms and my heart really goes out to you um, but for us it's been amazing and that's really part of the reason too why I don't want to pump is because I don't want to mess anything up. I will add though that he definitely is not on like any sort of nap schedule yet. Um, his nighttime schedule is a very rough schedule um, and that's something he's just fallen into naturally. During the day we have no schedule at all but that's okay he really just feeds when he wants to and naps when he wants to and in between running his crazy sister around to her activities and stuff and just meshes in with our schedule speaking of which he is a great car rider which i'm super thankful for both my babies have been amazing car riders he can get a little fussy of course if we've been out for a little bit and he's ready to get home and ready to be fed but um he is really really good in the car and he really likes the movement um the big thing that we probably struggle with this month is his thrush 
he had a little bit of thrush um, just on his lip. I'll post a picture here in case you're wondering what it looks like. I caught it super, super early. I noticed that it just like, it looked kind of like milk or something on his lip and it wasn't wiping off. And then a few days went by and it got a little bit bigger. Um, he definitely did not have a bad case at all, but it did get a little bit bigger. And so then I was like, Hmm. We were heading into the holiday weekend for Thanksgiving and I was like, I feel like I should call about this because of course I don't want my pediatrician's office to be closed for like four straight days and then end up at emergent care or something like that because I just put off going to the pediatrician and then he's in pain and I'm possibly in pain and everything. So I went there, she did say it was thrush and she prescribed us um, nice satin, which we have to get to him three times a day and then also something to rub on myself also so we can cure it on both ends. But um, it was crazy, like literally in 24 hours, the spot that I showed you guys was completely gone. It like definitely cracked a little bit and then it was completely gone and it, it's been healed. So now we're just finishing out his antibiotics because he does have to be on them for 10 days. But he takes them so, so well, which makes me so happy because obviously it just like eases my heart that he's not fighting with the medicine, that he really doesn't mind it. And then I'm really happy that we caught it early. So yeah, I'm definitely gonna show you guys that picture of what it looks like so that if you have a little one that's around this age or even a little bit older, um, you can know what to look out for because I hear I've never experienced like thrush pain or anything for him or I because he wasn't in pain yet thankfully but I just hear it cannot be the best probably one of my favorite things that he's done this month is smile more he is such a smiley little baby he's still learning it most definitely but he's getting better and better each day he really really loves smiling at his little sister Elodie he's just like enthralled with her like she always captures his attention and it's the sweetest thing it makes my mama heart so happy and Elodie is obsessed with smiling at him and getting him to smile. She always comes up to us eagerly and says, he smiled, he smiled, and runs over with the camera to take a, try and take a picture of him smiling and everything. So that's the sweetest thing and probably like my most favorite thing that has happened this month. Of course, a couple of his first were his first Thanksgiving. And then on Thanksgiving, we even went to see a movie at movie theater, which is like a new tradition Ben and I do for our family. And so he went to his first movie. We watched Encanto. And um, he did so well. His first Thanksgiving, of course, he just <laughs> slept most of it and chilled, had some milk, and that was about it. And then the movie, he did super well, and he just fell asleep on my chest and just relaxed in the movie. He's going to be exhausted after this. I feel like after with me holding him up this long, he's just looking around everywhere. <laughs> but that'll, that'll be good. That'll put him to sleep for the night. He does still love his tummy time and sleeping on his belly and just hanging out on his belly in general. Um, he does get frustrated after a little while being on his tummy, of course, um, because there's also a lot of work, I think, just holding up his head, which, speaking of which, you can see his head control is getting so much better this month. Like, he's doing so well with it. Um, but when he does do tummy time, he loves looking at his black and white cards that we have and mirrors. Those are his absolute favorite things. Like, he will just stare so intently at them, and it's really cool to see, because I didn't know um, when Elodie was a baby that babies can only see in black and white, so that was something really cool that. I I was able to learn with Elodie and then now change how I did that with Oakley and give him those black and white cards that he just loves. He also likes his pacifier. Um, I don't know if you guys saw it in the earlier clips. Um, he was sucking on it. I don't feel like he's as big of a pacifier baby as his big sister Elodie was um, because she was like hooked from literally the second she came out of the womb, but um, he does take a pacifier, absolutely, and he does really like it. But we've noticed with him that he likes a different type of pacifier than Elodie did. He likes these pacifiers, which to be honest, I don't even know, I forget the name of them. I'll have to look it up and I'll put it on the screen below. Um, because I forget the name. I like that they're very lightweight, and so yeah, they can fall out. We use Web and Ups with Elodie, and I did like the stuffed animal would kind of give it some more weight to, um, you wanna sit down, boy? To like relax on her chest and not fall out as easily, but these also, I feel like, stay suctioned in his mouth a lot better, which I like. Um, oh, I think, are they Tommy, Tippy? I don't know, I'll put the, I'll put what they are down below. Um, and then speaking of which, because he just spat out some bubbles, he is drooling a little bit more this month, I've noticed. Um, so, gearing up for teething eventually, I would say. I think he's getting a bit tired from standing up. Um, so he also got his shots at his two-month checkup, of course, and he was a trooper. He did really well, but he definitely cried and got upset, and my mama heart felt so bad. Like, there's nothing worse than seeing your little baby in pain, even if you know it's the best thing for them. It's still so hard to see them in pain. Sorry about the train. <laughs> we live near a train track, so sorry about that in the background, if you can hear it. But yeah, if you have a little one that's about to get their first set of shots or even their second set or whatever, I have to say that so far he hasn't had like anything negative with them. The only thing I've noticed is that 
Oh, why are you getting a little upset and getting a little tired? I know I've been holding you up for a while. Okay, it's okay. It's okay. He's getting a little tired now after I worked him out by holding him up so much. Um, but he's really just been a little sore in his legs and he's been extra sleepy so that's really about it um, But he's done really well with them overall And then I know that I told you guys last month about his umbilical cord I we had some struggles and some issues with that. It just wasn't healing um, Properly for a little while there and so eventually I took him back because he got an umbilical granuloma um, It wasn't bad yet again I feel like I caught it pretty early but the doctor did confirm that and then they ended up putting silver nitrate on his his belly button and it was a little scary at first because not that I hurt him or anything but it's like this really dark gray color and it just like stained like his belly from like his belly rolling <laughs> from his little baby fat rolls and then it also stained of course his belly button which it's supposed to like it's supposed to make his umbilical cord like dry up and then fall off and stuff which it, it did its job but even after I've fallen off his little poor belly and belly button were a little stained for a bit but I do have to say that that eventually did peel like all the Google searches I did said that it would, it just definitely took, I would say a couple weeks for it to start peeling. Um, and I, I still think like in his belly button, it's still a little gray, but I'm sure that will come off with time. So if you have to go through that with your little one, don't be too concerned. It will fall off eventually and it will turn back to normal skin color. But Oki Bear is starting to fall asleep now. He's definitely getting tired. So I do, I do think that he's probably going to end up closing his eyes for the night soon and going into his deeper sleep so i think that's all the updates you really have for right now his second month was a lot of fun ben went back to work and everything so it was definitely a big month of learning how to navigate life with two children at home by myself for me um, and it was probably a little bit for him learning how to navigate not having my full attention 24 7 anymore um, because ben wasn't here to help me tag team as much but he is such a good baby and really the only time he gets upset is when he's hungry and when I say upset it's more just him doing some loud whines he really doesn't cry so he's such a good baby and we're so happy to have him we love our little Oakley boy so yeah if you guys enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up for me um, that really supports my channel and I like to see what videos you guys enjoy I know that I do this one also just for the memories because I don't want to forget all these little details and notes about Oakley as each month progresses, but I hope you guys enjoy learning about Oakley and hearing about him too, because I know you guys love our family too, which I love and I can't thank you guys enough for. If you're new to my channel, I would love to have you stick around, um, or if you even have like a baby around the same age as Oakley, I would love for you to comment down below and let me know. Um, and yeah, stick around to my channel, subscribe so that we can kind of go through this process together, but thank you guys so much for watching, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye. Can you give you guys a better view? I miss your Oakley again. He's getting very sleepy. Oh, hi, sleepy boy. We love you.